Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. Roll on FC25, guys. I'm going to be honest, we're beginning to shift our sights towards the excitement that has got me way more excited for the new game that is coming than the end game of FC24. And what a better way to do that than look at all of the new icons and heroes that are coming to FC25. Now, if you didn't know, a lot of the ratings for some of these cards and really the full database of ratings has been leaked, which we think are accurate. We've talked about that in some previous videos prior to this but what's interesting is today we have some building upon that situation as EA have just confirmed the official stats of the first icon coming to FC 25 so are the leaks right and what is going on with icons and heroes in this next game we're going to talk about that and more in today's video if you're excited for it drop a thumbs up and subscribe if you are new now let's just go and cut straight to the chase with this that EA posted yesterday guys the first official icon of FC 25 posted by EA is Gianluigi Buffon. Also, when I look at this card right away, what do I notice? Probably the same thing that you do. Bro has a play style plus as a goalkeeper. This is the first card ever to have a goalkeeper play style plus in Ultimate Team. And I had to go do a little research because I didn't even know what this play style plus was. It is the far reach play style plus, which is allows a keeper to cover the net and extend their reach to save challenging shots. I can already see this is going to be the counter for the finesse shot plus. You think a finesse shot top bins curling in to the upper 90, a keeper with far reach plus is going to be able to get up and to save that shot, and that's going to be pretty annoying, maybe pretty meta. We will have to see. Goalkeeper playstyle pluses are a whole new thing that we're going to have to learn this year and figure out, but Buffon has a playstyle plus, and he's 91 rated. I feel like it's a decently fair rating for a player that is arguably considered one of the top five all time. Some people would rate him even higher than that in his position. I love going back down a little look of memory lane to see some of the old cards when these guys get icons, kind of where they've been. Gianluigi in FIFA 10 was a 90 rated card. That was his first FIFA card ever. He had some crazy cards down the line. FIFA, I remember FIFA 18's 98 rated card, the foot, um, Foot miss, I almost said foot birthday. Foot miss, 90 rated card for Buffon there. This 97 in FIFA 20. And then even his last FIFA card until now was a center back shapeshifters card in FIFA 23. Kind of crazy. But here's what I want to get into with some of the Buffon things is a little bit interesting, right? These are the official stats. Like this is how he's going to look in game, official dynamic image and everything. This was the Buffon card that was leaked a couple of weeks ago when we got the leaked ratings and everything from Foot Scoreboard and everything on Twitter that you may have seen. These are the exact same stats on this leaked Buffon card that were released yesterday by EA Sports. Even the exact same image. The only thing that's different is the playstyle plus. So that's kind of one thing that kind of cements what we know right now about the ratings that have been leaked. They're pretty much going to be accurate, if not spot on. Like, look, 94, 86, 78, 93, 51, and 89 for the Buffon face stats. And those are the exact same numbers that are on the official card tweeted by EA. So we absolutely love that. There's probably going to be more icons that are announced and talked about this week of this list right here and that's where I want to go next the other icons that have been leaked so far we have eight new icons coming to FC 25 Gareth Bale is the next big one guys this Gareth Bale card looks unbelievable as an 88 rated icon card we're talking 95 pace 89 shooting and 89 dribbling he's got a four star skill move and a three star weak foot and these are his in-game stats according to the leaks as well 95 sprint speed 94 acceleration 92 shot power his uh balance is a little low he's got 79 balance um, and that was kind of similar across bail cards of old he has 90 dribbling though and that's that 87 stamina which is nice this card's going to be amazing. His alternate positions are another great thing about the card. He can play right wing, right mid, left wing, and striker. He doesn't have left back, but you know that's something EA is going to add on later on. Some of these other cards that we've had of Gareth Bale in the past... He's had some legendary cards in Ultimate Team. Even in FIFA 23, he had this end of an era card that people use as a super sub until the end game. He had this FIFA 22 end of an era Real Madrid card. We go back in time. He had three years in a row with a foot birthday. FIFA 20 Gareth Bale. Uh, FIFA 19 Gareth Bale foot birthday. That card was crazy. This Bale card was crazy. I even remember this one. Like, 
Man, Gareth Bale, when it comes to an icon, I think 100% deserves it's an icon. I think this rating as well, it does him justice. Could it be a little higher? Maybe. Could they boost it the weak foot? Maybe, but he was always known for the left foot, not as much the right foot, and that was always the problem with a lot of these Gareth Bale cards. He had some incredible moments, a lot of success as a player, and an absolute stud. Um, you know, we need a TIFO in the game that says Wales Golf Madrid in that order, or whatever the order was, I forget, but we need that. <laughs> we need that TIFO in the game. That'd be incredible bands. But honestly, guys, this Gareth Bale is maybe along with Buffon, the most hype card coming to FC25. He looks amazing. Now, through the rest of the list, I want to highlight one more player specifically, and that is Taram. Guys, this card allegedly can play center back as well. Slide Tackle Plus is allegedly the playstyle plus that's going to be on this card as well. But 88 pace, 90 defending, 90 physical with 4-star skill moves and a 3-star weak foot. And imagine this card at center back. He might be challenging Desai. Some of those other cracked icon CBs as a force to be reckoned with in the early game of FC 25. He looks really, really crazy. Now, out of all the rest of the icons that are leaked, Buffon, Bale, Taram, those are definitely the top three. After that, the rest of the icons coming to this game don't excite me that much, if I'm being completely honest. Now, there could be a couple of gems in here. Julie Foudy could be decent. Shellen, I'm, I'm definitely butchering the name here. Uh, Lada Schellen, her first name is Lada. I kid you not, it is it is Lada, I believe. Um, that card could be really cracked. 91 pace, 89 dribbling, and 89 shooting with Finesse Plus. She played for Lyon and had more goals than games played for Lyon, which is a crazy stat. She was insane. Um, that's, that's a crazy looking card. So that might be a little bit of a sleeper. You know, there's always like... I would imagine going to be one of these cards that's going to be cracked. Like last year, we had Sawa, Abili, and Ham were probably the three best women's icons um, apart from the men's icons that were in the game. So maybe Shellen this year, maybe Foudy, maybe Miyama, the Japanese um, icon that's new to the game, could be cracked as well. But I'll be honest, it's these three that do it for me. Taram, Bale, and Buffon that look really, really crazy let's talk about the heroes though and keep moving through some things these are the official base hero cards coming to fc25 as leaked again by the ratings that have been leaked and the database now the question here and the interesting thing about this is uh, what are these cards going to look like in game with their dynamic images are they going to look like the heroes in fc24 because the rumor has it that they are going to look different let me find a base hero card and show you guys the difference here you see that on those images in that leak they kind of have normal gold card headshot images well what are we used to we're used to these dynamic images on the hero cards that is one of the leaks coming to fc25 is that the base hero cards are actually going to have normal like base gold card images which is very very interesting and the heroes themselves are just really weird this year, right? Because we have, what is it, like 13, 12 or 13 new heroes that have been added to FC25. It's a lot of them. I think the hero editions this year are more exciting than the icon editions for sure. But there's going to be three versions of all of these brand new heroes from the start of the game. Yeah, we got to talk about that a little bit. Of course, we've got Hazard, we've got Mykon, we've got Hamshik, we've got Jop Stam. His cards look crazy. Zay Roberto, Tim Howard, Carragher, Matuidi. There's some really fun cards here. Now, you maybe have seen these hero cards as well. These are the I don't know exactly what they're calling them, but the origin version of heroes. This is the origin version. This is the prime. They're the kind of the heroes that you get if you pre-ordered the game. And I have to imagine they're going to be released in packs at some point. But it's really weird because all of the new heroes, like I said, are going to have three versions. They're going to have this version, the origin, which is then going to upgrade to the prime later in November. But then at some point as well, at the beginning of the game, they're going to have a base version that's going to be in packs as well really really interesting we did a video on heroes a little bit already diving into what these are going to look like but now that we have official stats for these hero cards as well that have been leaked in the big database what i'm really noticing is here that some of these pre-order hero cards look better than their counterpart base versions like for example look at Carragher. Carragher's 86 rated origin card is 77 pace 85 defending and 85 physical with 61 passing and 70 dribbling but notice the pace 77 pace for that Carragher. look at his base hero card 7d pace a little bit higher defending with 87 and one lower physical with 84 
interesting that the free card that gets given out for the pre-order is better. Same thing with Guti. Guti has 81 pace, 86 shooting, and 84 passing on his pre-order card. And on his base version, he only has 77 pace. 82 shooting, which is a little bit better, and 88 passing. So it's really interesting how some of the free cards that you could potentially get from pre-ordering the game would be better than the base versions. I find that very, very interesting, and I find this whole hero situation very interesting. Now, I will say, if you pre-ordered the game before August 20th or whatever it was to get one of these hero cards, this is one of the best pre-order like bonuses that they have given in a long time. Like they've given out ones to watch cards before and in forums, the Nike whatever promo last year, that was mid. This is actually legit because you get a card straight away that upgrades to a better one later on. And in previous years, right? Remember last year they gave us the Champions League hero cards. Um, when it got to November as well. But even then, it was like, oh, I pre-ordered the game two months ago, and now I get a pack containing one of these cards. Cool. Yeah, it, it is cool. But this right away at the beginning of the year is going to impact our, star our starting squads right away because you're going to start whoever you pack in this hero pack because you get it from the start. It's going to be way better than all the other gold cards you have in your team. So it's going to go boom straight into your team, but then it upgrades later on with some pretty significant stat upgrades and it just a pretty crazy dope looking dynamic image as well. So yeah, these are all the heroes that are added to FC25. I do think definitely Hazard, Mykon, Hamshik, like all of these look semi-usable, like especially with some of the icons were a little like, how are those going to play out in game? Most of these at least look pretty usable from the start. This character card with 70 pace might be a bit more like fodder. George's as well looks pretty good, but what's the height? What's the strength situation going to be there? Same thing with Williams. And then Sausage is the highest rated and she looks decent as well. But again, I think the thing that is unknown about these heroes right now is the play style pluses because as we saw here with the leaks that we had on the icons Buffon did not show a play style plus and of course when you're looking at the leak stats in um, all the different areas of the um what is it called? Like the foot scoreboard app where they've got the database of the ratings right now. It doesn't show play style pluses in there as well. So I'm really interested to see, does does Hazard have technical plus? Because on EA's website, it doesn't say anything about play style pluses. These are only leaked versions. I would have to imagine that Hazard has technical. That'd be the one that would make sense. But what are some of these heroes going to have? Now, the last thing I want to talk about, and this relates to FC24 returning heroes and icons, because you might be wondering about this as well. We already talked about the heroes having different images in FC 25 they're not going to have the dynamics on their base cards they're just going to have like the regular base picture kind of like regular gold cards do but what i'm really curious to see is heading into fc 25 the icons there was a leak that was posted already that icons were going to have different play style pluses on their base versions because remember this was the first year ever where heroes i mean where icons sorry only had one base version remember we had the base versions for icons that were out and then they had to get promo versions to get upgraded after that this year completely different with promo icons starting off the bat starting a couple months into the game we talked about thunderstruck icons in yesterday's video that were super duper crazy so it's going to be like that again this year where icons will start off with the base version and the rumor is especially for this card hullet that we just looked up right here the rumor is for fc25 that hullet's base icon version doesn't have power header it's aerial and some other players have different maybe not as much upgraded but they changed the playstyle pluses on some of the base icon heart cards now my question is does that apply to the heroes as well last year early on i was lucky enough to pack joel cole i think he was like three or 400k yeah 300k at the time when i packed him and he had technical plus and that was a super overpowered play style plus last year at the beginning of the game is joel cole gonna have that again or are they gonna give him like you know like first touch or trivella or something like that to start off the year that's one thing that i'm really really intrigued about and interested in and i guess we're really only have gonna have to wait to find that out until e themselves actually release a database and official ratings with more of that inside that at least right now we don't have a lot of information on so the biggest things i want you to you guys to take away from today's video is ea is going to start releasing more of these ratings for icons i wouldn't be surprised if they maybe release one every single day we'll start to get official stats for like bail he's probably going to have rapid plus it makes sense you know some of the other stuff but we're going to get more official stats for these icons and maybe some more news about the base heroes as well because ea really wanted to 
it seems, pump people to try to pre-order the game, of course, as fast as possible so they could get this, which, to be fair, was halfway worth it as we talked about, but they haven't really mentioned anything about base heroes. They've only mentioned the pre-order versions uh, with the new ones coming to the game. So that's very interesting, but I wanted to bring you guys some of the leaks and news and information about the heroes today as we take one step closer to FC 25 and the hype continues to rise. I'm gonna get a few more things done in preseason, but guys, FC 25, it's September now. We're counting down the days. More videos are coming to get you ready for FC 25. So if you're excited for it, drop a thumbs up. Comment down below if you have any questions. And subscribe if you're new. It's been Dave Food Account. See you in the video tomorrow. Peace out.